Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Weiler. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around showing you the basics on your new fifth wheel today. So one of the first things you wanna do is make sure you go to this side compartment here. There's a battery disconnect switch. That's a little red switch on this wall in here. You wanna make sure that's turned green so that's on. That gives you power for your lighting for things like your 12 volt. Now, a great way to test that is to go around to the front here and push both arrow keys at the same time. Notice how the green LED lit up. That tells me that I have battery power. That's for your front lights, by the way. Right there, that's your generator, and there's your new deep cycle battery. We put it in it for you. But you wanna make sure that that, of course, is on. If that's not on, you won't have 12 volt power to the coach. Over here on the side, this is a, where we fill our city water. We hook up to this, city water. Dry camping fills our tank. A little QR code that you can scan that'll kind of walk you through that as well and explain that a little bit more. Hot and cold shower for the outside. Furnace exhaust, do keep any little ones away from that. This is your black tank flush. Flushes out your black tank so you don't get smells or odors besides putting the chemical in it. Your gray and black valves are located right there. And these are your cable hookups from the outside here. You got this amazing pass-through storage where you'll see you got your electrical adapter, sewer hose, and all that right there. That's your auto leveling system. Real simple to operate this. Um, you got, of course, auto leveling jacks on this. All you're gonna do is push auto level to do that. There's a kind of a step-by-step -step screen that'll kind of walk you through everything there. You got a propane tank on either side of the camper. On the other side, you're gonna have a regulator. Righty tighty shuts off the tanks. Lefty Lucy opens up those tanks. It is a good idea to check the lug nuts on the tires after the first 250 miles because they can become loose. So just for safety reasons, that's a good measure of protection. Caps that go on your sewer drains right there. You have a black tank flush back here, plus additional tanks. That's where you turn on your fueling station from. Your fueling dispensing nozzle is right in here. This is where you attach your 50 amp power cord. And this is your ladder for the back. You just pull those pins and that will swing forward for you. You decide you want to put a camera on back. We'll just mount it in that little housing up there at top. The door, these handles are real simple, real straightforward. You pull these out, swing them around. The door goes down to the horizontal position when the cables are attached. So you want to make sure the cables are attached if you want patio. If you want it to load something, you just detach the cables. Behind here, as you've already seen before, of course, is your sink and refrigerator. That's an exterior storage compartment. Your spare tire is located right down there. And that just slides out if you happen to need that. Over here, I'm gonna show you that auto regulator valve we were talking about. Notice how that's green, kind of hard to see in the dark area. There's a little flipper on top. Whichever direction that is flipped is the tank it's drawing from. Once again, righty tighty shuts off the tank. Lefty Lucy opens that up. Hot water heater, really nothing you need to do from here. Everything is controlled from the inside of the camper up in here. Just gonna scan around, show you the inside real quick. Your keys are around your kitchen faucet. Your igniter is right here for your stove. You fold back your stove cover, and then all you do is turn it to a little flame where it's red, and that's it. That simple. Power vent for the power vent above there. Again, keys around the kitchen faucet to control the temperature on the refrigerator. That's controlled from inside here, right there. Your stereo control, everything's right there. Your breakers and fuses are in this little box right here. Here, your breaker fuses are right over here. Your switches for your slides, real straightforward. Everything's right there. In goes in, out goes out. Overhead lighting in here. This just shows you the various levels of your tanks, your battery condition. That's how you start your generator. Amplifier for your TV antenna. Start the operation of your furnace or AC. That's all controlled from here. We're going to tap that a couple times. Snowflake appears. That's your air conditioning. This regulates the temperature up and down. Hit it again. Wavy lines are for your furnace. 
and then this regulates the temperature up and down for that as well. And then you just push it one more time, that shuts it off. Do keep in mind, you've got multiple air conditioners in this unit, so you got an additional thermostat up in this bedroom. Now, what's important to note here is these switches on the side of the cabinet. That's what controls the bed going up and down. And there's that additional thermostat we talked about. Let's walk you back here. Overhead lights. When you want the power beds to come down, all you have to do is select this control switch here and that'll pop those up and down. Do keep in mind, up in the corners, there's pins. If you don't pull those pins, the top bed will not come down. And the table is stored underneath the cushions up here. That's your patio on back. You just pull this to allow your wall to swing out. There's your hookups for washer dryers. If there's not a switch on the wall for any of your lights, just push in the center, the lights, that controls the operation of your lights. You guys, this is John from Lakeshore V Center. That is just some of the basics on your new toy hauler fifth wheel. We do appreciate your business. And if you have additional questions, please feel free to give me a call. We'd be happy to go over any of those things with you or trying to answer those. Thank you and have a great day.